Let's say the year is 2024 and the price of soul is like $500. Maybe it's even $1,000. And that may not be too crazy because in the last bull run, it hit $250. Or maybe you've got lots of epic NFTs. SMB, Soul Casino, Mad Lads, Famous Foxes, Geckos, Klanos, DJ Apes, OK Bears, Aurori, The Heist, etc. And then one day you make a fatal mistake and you're scammed or hacked. Some damn person with no moral code steals everything you've got. Maybe not just your Solana, maybe Bitcoin, Ethereum, other cryptocurrencies, other NFTs on other blockchains, it doesn't matter. They take it, it's gone, and when it comes to the blockchain, it's almost impossible to ever do a recovery. It's just too hard. So what do you do? My name's Seb Monty, my goal is to take you from zero to hero with all things regarding blockchain. And this video, I would say, is the most important video in crypto that I can teach you. It's how to stay safe so you can detect scammers, avoid them, and keep on leveling up your knowledge. If you do really well in crypto and then all of a sudden get scammed, you're destroyed. Getting scammed is heartbreaking, and I definitely know about it. I've had hundreds of messages, either as tickets or DMs with people that have been scammed. So if there's one thing you're gonna to do today, you're gonna to listen to this message. I'll make it as fast as possible. The most fatal mistake that people can do is by going to a fake website and putting in their seed phrase. Remember your seed phrase, your private key? You keep it safe. You only ever put it into a wallet that you 100% know is legitimate. When it comes to a Solana, Ethereum, and Polygon, I suggest you use Phantom Wallet. The website is phantom.app and I've got full videos covering everything about the wallet. This is an example of a fake website. This is soulflareweb.com. I'm using a website called browserling.com. And this allows me to check out a website without actually visiting it on my computer. Now this may look legitimate. We can click download and we can click add wallet. And this is where we will paste our recovery phrase. And if we do that, the scammers will get it and we're done for. What if we click access wallet, import existing wallet, same deal. Add wallet, same deal. It's a scam site. Do not visit websites that you think are scam sites. Only go via browserling. This is the real Soulflare wallet. 53,000 followers, and there's at least 327 people that I follow that also follow Soulflare. And this is the website. And this is soulflare.com. Access wallet, and it's different. I already have a wallet. It looks different, of course. I need a new wallet. This generates a new recovery phrase. However, I still suggest using phantom.app and also using a ledger. The most popular crypto wallet is MetaMask, but do not go to Twitter or Reddit or anywhere for support. Only go to their website. This is what happens if you do this. I don't even know what this message says, but we'll click on it and for sure, we'll see some scammers there. Let's click show more replies. Okay, so whoever this scammer is, they suggest emailing metamask.restore at gmail.com. And for some reason, they felt necessary to mention it twice. But let's click on show. This person is suggesting a scammer. Scammer, 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 scammer. Quite often, they're just automatic bots. And all they want is your seed phrase so they can steal your crypto. So never give anyone your seed phrase. And never give me your seed phrase. Here's another example with Ledger. These scammers make things look really legitimate. Look at this underscore chat underscore support it even has almost 70,000 followers it says we will never ask you for your 24 word recovery phrase and it's even followed by huawei which is an exchange but if you go and send them a private message they'll just be there to scam you so just go to ledger.com and use their ticketing system same thing applies with phantom i could click on any of these they're all going to have the same response show please contact phantom this is a scam. Please contact Phantom. This is another scam. Never do this ever. Go to twitter.com, find the legitimate company, double check the followers, if any of your friends are following them, and then click on the link from there only. Another common scam on Twitter are fake companies like this, Rocket Pool. They even have the gold tick, and this is clearly a misspelling. They have zero followers, and somehow they've got the golden tick there. Some things that make it obvious to me that it's a scam is a strange website rocketpool.gallery. Galleries pretty much only used with artists, and even then, it's not very popular. You can also see an intense amount of reposts and likes. That just comes from bots, and there's no way that we can reply. If you're a company, you want engagement. You do not turn off your comments. This is a scam, and this is a scam website. Here's another scammer, Sachini. This person has 42,000 followers, all fake, of course, and they're targeting the Ethereum ecosystem. They've tagged me in this as well as all these other people, and they're promoting Optimism Reward. 
Optimism Reward is fake. It's a scam account. Another thing that makes me know it's a scam account is it has a hyphen in its domain name. Don't put a hyphen in your domain name. It's a bad look. Here's another one. I don't even know what this is, but this website here certainly doesn't match this word here. And this person here is definitely scamming. I can't even reply. All you need to do is just literally go and block them. Free NFT Mint? No thank you. Not if I can't reply. Look at the date. Oh, what? More advertisement? Looks the same, right? But different website. Scam. And this person promoted it and did it one minute earlier. Scam. I saw 10 of these in one morning. Another common scam is by using someone's name. So Jason Pizzino is one of my friends. He's on YouTube and you can see he's got a decent number of copycats. That is pretty intense. You can see this all the time. The real Jason Pizzino, 80,000 followers, blue tick, joined Twitter 2014. However, be aware, some of these scam accounts, they can buy followers. Let's have a look at this one. 16,000 followers. They have all the same credentials. And this one even joined in May 2011. But for some reason, this Jason Pizzino doesn't live in the Gold Coast, Australia. They're in the Gorda Cruz, Argentina. Anyway, they're a scammer, so just block them. Here's another scammer, D God's Pass. They promoted the hell out of this tweet in order to get 713,000 views, and they are just a scammer. They bought their Twitter account, they bought their followers, and they just pumped the scam out, just like that. And I cannot reply, but 23 people can. What if you want a Web3 job, and someone reaches out to you in DMs and asks you to download a game, better test it, give feedback, and you'll be paid for your time? That's what the scammers from Castle Wind Game do. I've known a few people and one of my friends was scammed like this. Tens of thousands of dollars taken. No one's gonna pay you $30 an hour to beta test the game and don't download files just randomly. Make sure the game's on Steam or with some verified source. If you're unsure, just search on Twitter, scam and Castlewind or whatever the project may be. Every year, there will be thousands of scams like this. Unfortunately, some people mention it's a scam. These scam projects even have active discords, only they're not actually active, they're active with scammers, or sometimes bots. So they look really active, but they're just bots, or they're just part of the scamming team. They'll have many things like official links, but the scams. Very, very rarely, there'll be a legitimate collection, and some scammer copies them and scams of that community. So you just gotta look out for them. When it comes to downloading files, just don't download files. Use Google Docs and open PDFs via Google. These are the four most dangerous file types. Zip and RAR files, Microsoft Office documents. These can have Trojans that can gain control of your computer. PDF files, these can be really bad, especially if they're big files. If it's like one megabyte, the risk is low, but sometimes people download 100 megabyte or 200 megabyte files and they can contain malware. But in general, just avoid them. IMG and ISO disk images as well. This link will be below. Over one year ago, Axie Infinity was hacked. We're talking $622 million. Apparently the culprit, if you go through all of this, actually was a PDF document sent to a computer that also happened to be part of the blockchain infrastructure. And then the Ronin bridge, which was between Ethereum and the Ronin network, was compromised and $622 million was stolen. A week ago, an advanced user lost over $1 million to a phishing scam. The people that lost this money were Big Brain Holdings, a VC company between Big Brain Twin and Soul Big Brain. This needs its own video, but give this thread a read if you want. If you're dealing with a decent amount of money, don't do transactions when you're tired, drunk, or just lacking attention. This scam happened because a founder sent a direct message to Soul Big Brain. Only that founder's account was hacked, and Soul Big Brain trusted the founder, did the transaction, and lost everything with that wallet. So check out Malwarebytes, maybe install this. If you're using Ethereum or Ethereum virtual networks, check out Pocket Universe and maybe WalletGuard, as well as using your ledger with your phantom wallet. Now back to Discord. You will get fake things sent to you, like this one. Alfred Smith promoting dgod.store. They've changed their profile to de.xyz, but their name is Alfred Smith. They're not in any common servers. They've been kicked out of servers and this person is a scammer. Best thing to do is just to report it. Submit report and block the person. You'll see that all the time. The next thing is getting friend requests from people you don't know, like this one. This is a scammer. Once again, block them. There's more to know with Discord, but just play it safe. One of the best things you can do, especially when you're new, is just go to a server, right click on it and go to privacy settings. 
Turn off direct messages and then click done. Then anyone in that server will not be able to send you a direct message, but they'll still try to send you a friend request normally. So just be vigilant of that. If you're using Telegram, go into the settings, privacy and security, and make sure that phone number is set to nobody. If you're a prominent person, make sure you're using two-factor authentication and have a dedicated and secret phone number, especially if you're a founder of a project. But at the same time, users do not randomly trust a founder's DMs ever. Another popular way that scammers use is by sending you scam NFTs. This is especially common on Solana because gas fees are so minimal, but it happens on other blockchains as well. In fact, other blockchains, they sometimes send you scam tokens. In this wallet address, every single NFT is a scam, every single one. If you're unsure if it's a scam, check with the project in their Discord or on Twitter or with their community, just double check. And even if you think it's legitimate, if there's a link here, Never ever click on it. Even with legitimate NFTs, don't click on it. Just literally go to Twitter and click on the link from the actual Twitter account. When you get these damn scam NFTs, just burn the token like this. Sometimes you'll even get a little bit of soul back. Let's burn one more. Burn. And burn. But of course, only burn it if you're absolutely sure it's a scam token because you cannot unburn something. If you have any doubts though, just click on the token and then click on the dots and report as spam and hide. By interacting like this, by clicking on the image or clicking up here or by receiving it or by sending it to another wallet, there is no risk of anything bad happening to you or your computer. Bad things can only happen if you go down here and click on the link. Then we can see under hidden collections, all these rubbish NFTs that if we want to in the future, we can go and burn them. Finally, get yourself a password manager. It's a paid solution, but it's worth every cent. It allows you to do two-factor authentication. It will make sure that your passwords are secure and it's another layer of security for you. There's so many things you can do to avoid scams, but most of it just comes down to education. Keep on educating yourself. Web3 is certainly worth the effort. If you're ever unsure if something's legitimate, just tag me on Twitter and ask me. You don't need to ape into things at the speed of light. Play it safe instead. Stay curious, stay safe, and we'll catch you in the next video.